Iman Gaji is the fastest growing YouTuber in finance and self-improvement niche. Throughout the years he has created his unique, interesting style of editing. And in this series I am showing you how to replicate this style. So welcome to part 2 of how to animate graphics like Iman Gaji. In today's video we are going to create two animations. The first one will be a pyramid with 1% on the top and the second one will be a 3D script animation. So let's open After Effects. Import the wavy lines and the pyramid to the After Effects. And when importing the pyramid, choose Import Kind Composition and Footage Dimensions Layer Size. Scale the pyramid down a little and scale the wavy lines up. And firstly, we'll animate the background, so these wavy lines. So go to Effects and Presets and search for Tint. And then also search for Curves and set it to something like this. And now also add a motion tile. And in the motion tile panel, set the output width to 500 and the output height to also 500. And very important, check the mirror edges. And now move four frames ahead and start cutting it like this. So creating another layer. And now delete the rest of this layer because we'll not need it. Select all of these cuts that you just created right click and pre-compose them and now go inside this composition now select one of these cuts and just put the background in a random position and you can also adjust the rotation now do the same for every one of these cuts and it's up to you it's completely random you can put it anywhere you want you see but now when all of these cuts are finished there is a black screen so in order to prevent that we'll trim this composition to the length of all these cuts so in order to do that go to the last frame Actually not the last frame because last frame is a black screen. Go to the one frame before last frame and click N on your keyboard. And now right click and trim comp to work area. Now go back to the main composition. And as you can see now this composition has been shortened. And so what you want to do is right click on this composition. Go to time and enable time remapping. And now as you can see the last frame is a black screen. So again go one frame before that and keyframe the time remap here and now you can delete this second keyframe now alt click on the stopwatch next to time remap this way you open expression and type loop out and when you preview this composition right now you can see that it never ends and there is no black screen so this is what we wanted and now we'll start animating the pyramid so go into pyramid composition now remember to go to toggle switches modes and check this middle box for every one of these layers this will make it so that when you zoom in, this pyramid will not lose quality. And now just start animating, so select all of these layers, click P on keyboard and keyframe the position here. Go to two and a half seconds, let's say, and keyframe it here. Now go back to the first keyframe and now select only one of these layers, so for example the top layer. And while holding shift, move it up so that it moves in a straight line. And now do the same for every other layer and now we can preview this. It's way too slow, it has to be faster, so move all of the end keyframes to one and a half seconds, let's say. It's still too slow, so move it to one second. Okay, and now select all of these keyframes, click F9 and go to Graph Editor and create an Is In animation. And let's preview this right now. And now I will randomly stagger every layer. Okay, I will actually move all of the end keyframes a little further. I will make the animation like three frames longer. Yeah, I think now it's pretty cool. Go back to the main composition. Another problem is that as you can see, this composition is a little too small. It's not exactly the height of the whole animation composition. And so we have to go back to the pyramid composition. Go to Composition, Composition Settings and set the height to like 1700 pixels and now also adjust the position of all of these layers so that it's not visible right there. Go back to the main composition. Right here in this moment we'll start zooming in. So select the pyramid composition and open the scale and the position keyframes and keyframe both of them here. Move like one second ahead or a little less than that and keyframe it again and now set the scale and the position so that the top of this pyramid is at the center 
Okay, so let's select all of these keyframes and click F9. Go to Graph Editor and create Easy in Animation. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I think we should make this animation a little longer. So something like this. Let's see right now. Okay, even longer I think. And now we'll create the 1% text on the top of this pyramid. So go to Pyramid Composition and create a new text. Adjust the position and the scale so that it's at the top of this pyramid. So like that. Set the color to white and set the font to VP Pixel. And you have the link to this font in the description of this video. And now set the parent and link of this text layer to red so that it will follow the top of this pyramid. So let's preview this. And now we'll add the turbulent displace effect to this whole animation. This is an effect that Iman uses very often in his videos. So to do this, we create a new adjustment layer, search for turbulent displace, and now adjust the value, set the amount to 10 and set the size to 20. Open the evolution options and alt click on random seat. And now type time asterisk free. This will make it so that this effect is not static, but it's changing with time. And now let's preview the whole animation. Yeah, perfect. It looks really good. So let's move to the next animation. Now we'll create this 3D script animation with sparkling stars. And we'll do that in the same composition. So the first thing to do will be to create a shape. So select a pen tool and draw something like this. With no fill, of course. The shape should look something like this. And now the next thing will be to put this shape in 3D space. So select this box here. And now, as you can see, I have two views here and one is from the top. So in order to see two views, you have to go here and select two views. And with a view selected, here you can change what do you want to see in this view. So for example, here I can see from the left and here I can see from the top. But very important thing is that you want to be in Cinema 4D because then you will have this panel here, so geometry options. And here you can increase the extrusion depth and this way you will put this shape in 3D space. Now go to the point on timeline where you want your animation to start. Open transform and keyframe everything there. Now move couple frames ahead and keyframe again. Go back to the first keyframe and you can play with the options like orientation, rotation and extrusion depth to get the look that you want. Now important thing is to put this anchor point in the middle of this shape. So adjust it. Something like this is okay. And now when your paper is ready, you want to add the script text here and this rectangles here. So in order to do that, create a left view. Now change the rotation so in the left view it looks something like this. And now create a new text layer and type script here. The font that I'm using is called Vox Round. And now put this text layer also in 3D space and adjust the scale. And now adjust the position of this text layer both in the default screen view and in the left screen view. And for now also set the color to white to be able to see it better in the left screen view and adjust the extrusion depth of this layer. And this is why we needed this left screen view because now we can see where it is located in the 3D space. And I think we can actually put it a little deeper. So something like this. And now the text is ready, just change the color back to black. And now create a new rectangle without a stroke and with a white fill. And also put this shape in 3D space and increase the extrusion depth. Put it a little deeper. And now copy this layer three more times and just adjust the position right now.
at the end it should look something like this and now connect this text layer and all of these rectangles to the first shape layer so to the paper and now we can start animating it so select the paper layer and click U to show you all of your keyframes go to your first set of keyframes and set the position of this script somewhere there and now go to the second set of keyframes and basically change the position the orientation and play with the rotations to create the look that you want so I have created something like this and of course it's too fast right now so we have to make this animation longer by moving the second set of keyframes something like that and now very important thing is to add lights to this animation so set your left view to top screen view and now create a new light spotlight with default settings is okay and now change the position of this light to something like this and change the intensity of the light to 100% so it looks something like this and now copy this light and place it somewhere here but set the intensity on this one to 50 and as you can see this way we've created this shadow effect on this paper so now let's preview the whole animation I think the light is too strong in this moment so we can go to the first light and actually decrease the intensity to like 75 and of course you can play with all of these settings you can play with the lights you can play with position and rotation of the script so it's really up to you how this animation will look and now I will show you how to create this sparkling stars so create a new composition by clicking here make it 400 by 400 pixels and inside of this new composition create a new shape layer open here and add ellipse and then also add fill and make this fill yellow color so it will look like stars now also increase the scale of this shape and add a pucker and bloat effect expand this effect and set the amount to minus 40 and keyframe it and now go one second ahead create a keyframe and decrease the amount value to get this kind of shape now select this shape and click S go to the start and keyframe it and click U now go to half a second and keyframe the scale and now go to one second and keyframe the scale again and now at the start set the scale to zero at the half second mark set the scale to 142 and at one second mark set the scale to zero again and now it will look something like this now select this free scale keyframes press F9 go to graph editor right click and set the graph to value graph select this point here and make the graph look something like this as you can see now we have this snappy animation and it looks really cool and now we'll add a glow so right click on this layer go to layer styles and select outer glow now go to outer glow options change the color to the color of this star change the opacity to maybe 70 and you can play with the size to get the look that you want and now we'll animate the rotation so select this shape and click R go to 0 second and keyframe the rotation go to 1 second and keyframe the rotation again and here change the rotation value to 160 let's say now let's preview this so let's go back to the main composition let's set it to one view import our stars composition to this main composition put it at the top 
And now we have to think when you want your stars to start appearing. So I think somewhere here. So set the start of this composition here. And now let's preview this. And now you can of course copy this stars composition and just put them in different places. So right here and right there. And you can also play with the scales. So make some of these stars bigger and some of these stars smaller. And also you should stagger them a little so it looks more interesting. So let's preview this. Yeah, I think it looks really good. So this is everything for this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful and see you in the next video.